Shalom, people of God. My name is Ruben Micah. I'm also known as Ruby MC. Um, today, before I'll be going into our exposition, if you are new to my timeline or my channel, you can go to Google and search for Ruby MC videos. Click on any of the videos you see and don't forget to subscribe. The subscribe button is just below the video, just as you can see on your screen. You can search for me on YouTube or on Facebook. God bless you. Uh, today, I'll be talking about um, the Charlie Charlie game that is trending. If you are conversant with your WhatsApp, your Facebook, Instagram, you'll be seeing videos of people doing the Charlie Charlie challenge. Today, I want to be going deep into the secrets, the details behind this Charlie Charlie game. The Charlie Charlie game is a game where you look for pencils, two pencils as you can see on your screen, and you make them to look like a cross. The pencil above has to be straight and balanced then yeah, you say the magic words and um, a demon that is known to be called charlie charlie would now come to be moving the pencils to tell you to answer your questions with either a yes or a no and on your paper you have to have two straight line and all over the paper you, ha you have to include you have to write yes or no so that if the pencil moves right or left it will either be saying yes or either saying no just as you can see on your screen it's just there on your screen for you to see so in so doing, people expect to hear the opinion of a demon over some questions that they'll be answering him or they'll be asking him. Now in this game, there's a word you are required to say or a sentence you are required to say to invoke the demon. And there's a sentence you are required to say to tell the demon that please go back or um, it's, it's, I'm done with the game now, it's over or goodbye. Are you with me? So, but one thing I want to draw to your attention is that demons, they prefer to come than to go. A demon is a disembodied spirit. If you know about demon, anyone who is a necromancer or anybody that has uh, contact with a familiar spirit would agree to what I'm telling you. Or if you can do your research, a demon is easier contacted than, um, it's easier to contact a demon than to send a demon packing. A demon prefers to stay when he has seen a body. Are you with me? So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the origin of this game, what the game stands for, and the reason why it is not safe to play. Let's start with Wikipedia. Let's hear what Wikipedia says. Now, Wikipedia says um, the Charlie Charlie Challenge is a demonic modern incantation of the Spanish paper and pencil game called Juego de la Lapicera, pencil game, like a magic eight ball. The game is played by teenagers using held or balanced pencils to produce answers to questions they ask. Teenager, teenage girls have played Diego de la Lapicera for generations in Spain and Hispanic America, asking which boys in their class like them. Basic setup for the two pencil games with the top pencil balanced the same way as the other, just uh, such that minor air movements can cause them to rotate you can see wikipedia saying it's a demonic modern incantation now if you can believe wikipedia for any other thing i don't see why you don't believe wikipedia for this this is wikipedia this is not bible now for those of you that will say we are not christians don't come and tell us what your bible is saying we want to tell you what google is saying what wikipedia is saying now wikipedia is telling you that this game is demonic and it is an a modern incarnation of, an, of a Spanish game, a Spanish pencil game, and this is an old game that has been for generations in Spain. You can see it on your screen. I've seen a lot of my friends, even my WhatsApp friends and my Facebook friends try this game and because it, it, uh, it didn't work out for them, they believe that the demon was not someone. Some will tell you that it's a normal flaw of physics. I want to tell you one shocking thing. Miracles happen every day, but because people are used to it or they don't know how to explain it, they just believe that it's a normal trend. When you, when you cook, and the quantity of rice you put in your pot is not the quantity of rice that you get out when you finish cooking. You think it's a normal thing. It's, a, it's actually a miracle. It's actually a miracle, but because people are used to it, they don't see it as anything. See, I'll be showing you, I'll be showing you a video now, and I want you to watch closely in those videos. The way, the, the way they played the game and the way the pencils moved. You see that nobody touched the pencil. The pencil moved on its own. This is clear that the demon was summoned. Now I will allow you to watch the video and I want you to watch very carefully what is happening. Where the hell did you see so get? 
Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Oh my gosh. We are not here. We are not here, please. Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Mommy! Mommy! Yeah! Yeah! Charlie, Charlie, are you there? They're no boy you will make you talk yes, man. They're no boy you will make you talk yes. They're no boy you make you make make you talk yes. They're boy you will. Now you've seen how it happened in the video. In case you didn't watch the video very well, you can still go back and watch. I want you to watch how the pencils moved, and watch if it's just an ordinary air that moved them. Look at the way the pencils moved. You will notice that there was a presence. Now the Bible says in the book of Leviticus chapter 19. Um, verse from verse 30 it says ye shall keep my sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary i am the lord he said regard not them that have familiar spirits neither seek after wizards to be defied by them for i am the lord your god and deuteronomy chapter 18 starting from verse 10 it says there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch Verse 11 is where I'm going to. It says, Or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. God is the one speaking in these scriptures I just quoted to you, and God is expressing himself that he doesn't want his own to be consulters of familiar spirits. Consulting a familiar spirit in the first place is an act of idol worship. Cons calling the presence of a familiar or of a demon or a familiar spirit to come and answer questions or to come and know his mind when you have God to contact, you have God to speak to you don't want to speak to God, you are consulting a demon it is wrong Christians it is wrong and that's the essence of this video to even do it in the first place to even say you want to try it and there are risk of contacting this demon without sending the demon back and if you contact the demon and the demon refuses to go back, you are exposing yourself to risk I'm doing this video to warn every Christian out there, to warn my fans out there. Don't just go after the trend. Please be wise.